The Summer Enrichment Fellowships continue this evening at 6 as Bishop and First Lady Wooden host a special session for married couples. There will be breakout sessions for both the husbands and the wives. Wednesday, August 26th at 7 p.m., First Lady Wooden will host a heart-to-heart -heart sisters fellowship at the URCA Media Center. All ladies between the ages of 40 and 50 are encouraged to attend. Next Sunday morning at 9.30, First Lady Wooden will host a meet and greet with church mothers and all ladies over the age of 65. The session will be held in the fellowship hall. The third consecration union of the Greater Central District will be held Monday, August 24th and Tuesday, August 25th here at Upper Room, with services beginning both days at 7.15 p.m. and hosted by Bishop and First Lady Wooden, there will be a very important meeting for all women of the Greater Central District. Girls of Destiny will host its monthly specialty class Wednesday, August 26th at 6.30 p.m. There will be food, fun, and fellowship along with the teaching of biblical principles on letting your light shine. Girls of Destiny is for girls between the ages of 8 and 12. And for more information, send an email to girlsofdestiny at yahoo.com or call Arquetta Lindsay at 919-274-2250. The Ladies of the King's Court will be hosting the 2015 All Girls Back to School Community Prayer Wednesday, August 26th. Young ladies aged 13 to 18 should plan to attend and be part of the seminar Fundamentals for School Success. Refreshments will be served and a limited amount of free school supplies will also be distributed. Fans will depart the church at 6.30 p.m. and return by 8.30 p.m. The Greater Central District Prayer and Bible Band will meet Wednesday, August 26th at 7 p.m. in classroom number four. All current members, along with those interested in joining, should plan to attend. The Youth and Young Adult Choir will rehearse Saturday, August 29th from noon to 1 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room. All youth and young adults are invited as we prepare to represent Generation Now on Youth Sunday. The Back to School Sunday Smash is Sunday, August 30th at 10.30 a.m. All students from elementary to college are encouraged to attend as the youth will be in charge. Our youth and young adult choir will be singing and Bishop Wooden will bring forth the word. Immediately after service, over 100 book bags with school supplies will be distributed. Invite a friend and spread the word. Also, make plans to attend our fifth Sunday gathering AIM, Sunday evening, August 30th at 6. All men are encouraged to join Bishop Wooden Tuesday, August 25th at 7.30 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall for the monthly men's meeting. All men are also invited to attend the Gateway Men's Breakfast Fundraiser, Making a Better Community, A Man's Voice Matters, to be held Thursday, September 3rd at 7 a.m. at the Summit Blue Ridge Campus. Tickets are $25 per person, and the keynote speaker will be Bob Tebow, father of NFL quarterback Tim Tebow. Gateway is fighting for the lives of the unborn, and all men are encouraged to participate. For questions, contact Elder Anthony Wilson. Don't forget to mark your calendars for the Shiloh Conference to be held October 11th and October 13th through the 15th here at Upper Room. Good morning, Upper Room Church family. You know, I was reminiscing on this week about our pastor's anniversary that's coming up on September the 20th. and We're ready to be a blessing to the man of God. I was just thinking how the word is preached on Thursday nights and on Sunday mornings. And one particular Sunday night, God blessed pastor and he preached a mighty word. And on that night, he anointed everyone in the sanctuary. And he gave quite a few prophecies. And Harris, I think you were one of them. You know, Janice, you're right. Pastor said, fault, your business will not go lacking. I do lawns. There was very little grass to cut, no rain. And I tell you, the following week, every day, I was getting calls from people I've never done business with. Harris, can you do this? And Mr. Falk, I need you to do, to do this for me. You know, Janice, Pastor is truly a man of God. Oh, indeed he is. And we're just so excited to be ready to bless him. We've blessed him down through the years, and we've yeah. given above and beyond. So we are ready to bless the man of God on September the 20th. Pastor, we love you. Oh, we look forward to blessing the man of God. <laughs>